Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're back with a new HD Home Run thing to take a look at. Today they have released their HD Home Run OTA Live Roku channel. And this allows you to use your HD Home Run tuner to watch live TV if you have a current Roku device. Uh, they say this will support all of the current shipping Rokus and they're interested in hearing from folks that might have some older ones as well. I'm going to step through this briefly and show you how it works and how to install it in just a second. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that Silicon Dust, the makers of the HD Home Run, are an occasional sponsor here on the channel. They are not sponsoring this video, nor have they reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all of the opinions you're about to see are my own. So let's get into it now and see what this little channel is all about. All right, so let's jump right into it here. I've got the beta channel installed. I will show you how to get that installed in a few minutes. Uh, so what it's going to do first here is look out on my network for all of my HD Home Run devices. And as you can see here, it found my HD Home Run Prime. Uh, the interface is very different than what you see on other devices that they have a native app for. And I think it's probably due to the limitations of the Roku hardware. And they're putting this out really early, so I suspect they'd be looking for feedback from all of you on their forums about things that you like and don't like. Uh, so if you want something changed, definitely let them know. I'm sure this is the time to do it. Uh, so what you can do here is drill down to a network. Uh, before you tune into it, it will tell you what is currently on and what is coming up later in the day. Uh, but just know you cannot do any time shifting. You can't record things. You can't schedule anything to record, nor can you watch anything that has been recorded. Uh, so this is strictly live only at the moment, but of course they will be adding more features down the road. Now, if you want to tune to a channel, you hit that channel and then hit it again because you have to go through the guide here and then it takes a second or two for it to spin up. The Roku is a lot slower at getting things on air. He has my friend Pete Mazzetti. Uh, so it does take a little bit of time to uh, tune in between channels and hopefully they can speed up that process as time goes on. If you want to switch channels, you hit the up arrow on the remote. Uh, you can go to another network here. You can kind of see what's coming up later in the day. I can switch over to my local education channel. Again, it will go through that process of spinning it up and getting it working. Uh, now, the Roku, on the modern versions of the Roku at least, supports hardware decompression of the MPEG-2 uh, compression standard, and that is what broadcasters here in the U.S. are using at the moment. For a long time, the Roku did not support that, which is why we haven't seen much support for the HD Home Run on the Roku before. Uh, but now it does support it, so here you go. You can start watching your shows on there. And again, that is pretty much all it's doing at the moment. I do recommend that if you have a Roku Ultra or a Roku with an Ethernet adapter, you definitely try to get that wired network going. Uh, if you don't have that or have one of the Roku sticks, my advice would be to make sure you're connecting to a 5 gigahertz AC network and that you have a strong signal to your Roku device. Uh, these MPEG transmissions are very unforgiving to poor networking conditions as we've seen in the past. So make sure you've got, again, a strong Wi-Fi network or, if possible, use Ethernet. And it also works with HD content as well. We've got uh, the news up here. That's working just fine in HD. I'll switch to another HD network here and have that uh, spin up. And it'll take a little bit longer to get it going, but once it does get through its little retrieving process there, it does kick on and you can buy stuff on QVC and whatnot. So that seems to be working pretty nicely. Now what's funny is the folks at Silicon Dust have been having a hard time getting this to work with their HD Home Run Primes at headquarters, but mine seem to work just fine. So if you could test it out and see what's working and not and go on their forums and let them know what you're experiencing, I'm sure they will appreciate that. And if you have some Roku's laying around, this might be a fun thing to experiment with. Uh, now, if you want to install this, you go to my.roku.com. And once you're logged in, what you want to look for there is a link that says add channel with a code. And then what you want to do is type in the code N6MN9QC. And after you do that, the HD Home Run uh, application here will appear on all of your Roku devices. It might take a little while for it to get pushed down. Uh, what I found is helpful for pushing it along faster is get this little channel here called Update My Channels. And what this does is it goes out and basically refreshes all of the channels on your Roku and makes sure they're all up to date. Uh, mine did not appear initially, but then when I ran the app here, uh, it seemed to get up and going just fine. So I'll put a link to uh, this application too so you can get going with it pretty quickly. But overall, pretty cool. 
I like the fact that we're starting to see something happen on Roku because I know a lot of people have Roku devices and they haven't been able to up until now uh, very easily use their HD home run tuners with it and hopefully soon we'll get all the DVR functionality and all the other good stuff too. So lots more to see on this. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.